Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Roblox low memory. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, let's open up the Roblox app here on your iPhone, Android, or maybe a computer as well. If you're getting errors on here that there's low memory or it's really glitchy or lagging when you're playing games, it's just not operating and working all that well. There are some options you have to be able to clear that memory and get it a bit better. So what we're gonna do is hop into our settings here and then we're gonna scroll down to general right here. And then you can see midway down is iPhone storage. Let's tap on that. This will show you every single app on your phone. The first thing to check at the very top is the amount of free space you have. You can see I have 72 gigabytes. If you're running out of space, maybe you have less than a gigabyte, 500 megabytes, something like that, you might want to delete out some apps to clear up some storage and some memory on your phone. But let's go down and tap on Roblox here. You can see it's taking up one gigabyte of data. I have two different options. The first one is I can choose to offload the app. And this will remo remove the actual app files itself. But I also recommend just clearing out all the cache, that history, everything, just by tapping on delete app here. Now this will delete your app from your phone. Keep in mind, it doesn't remove any of your games, your history, your conversations, any of that. You'll just tap on app store again, and we'll type in Roblox and tap on it and hit to install. Now, after we go through the process of installing it again, it will clear out all of that cache, all of that basically bug and history and logs, all of that, so that it operates and runs a lot smoother and faster. You can just open it back up here and you'll be able to see I need to log back in, but after I log back in, here, let me enter in the password. You'll be able to see everything looks as it did before. Oh, it looks like it's gonna email me a code. So just enter in that email code or text message code, and you can get into your account and use it like you did before. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.